Hi folks and welcome back here for another Cinema 4D tutorial. Today I'd like to share a technique how to create some fluid splashes or flash, uh, flushes within Cinema 4D by using X Particles, X Particles 2.5. And uh, instead of making a stop step by step tutorial, uh, I'm going to break down my scene file with you so you can get a glimpse of how it works. So let's jump into Cinema 4D. So here's my scene fire. And let's uh, switch off the camera to get an overview. So and I can tell you what I've done here. So first of all, I've created a kind of a slider for my particles to slide along. I added a um, X particles collider tag to it. Modified the settings a little bit. Then I've created a ellipse shape um, emitter with a birth rate of about 20,000 particles and a speed of 400 centimeters. Then I enabled the fluid dynamics and actually I didn't change the settings because uh, when I play around with it I found out that the basic settings are doing a pretty good job in my situation here. So and and of course um, you have to like simulate uh, through see what's going on so and my slider just flips over at the end to uh, pour out the remaining particles and I've added a couple of a uh, modifiers to my scene so um, there is a wind modifier is spin, which actually could be turned off, it doesn't do anything. A turbulence and um, a kill modifier, which is that yellow box around my scene. So you can get rid of all the particles that are, went out of your viewport. And most necessary, you have to use a gravity modifier. So and you can place through your animation and in the end you should use that a cache object here to cache all the uh, data of your uh, of your flow here. So let's jump back to my camera and switch off uh, switch on the uh, skinner which is you know the tool that creates a mesh around your particles. And actually I didn't do that much here and um I use the the fluid uh, the fluid um, surface, but you can also use the Zoo Britain, uh, which are doing a pretty good job as well. So I use the surface level of ninety percent, polygon size of five, custom radius of ten, scale of a hundred. Didn't change the density, but I added a uh, geometry smoothing with iterations of sixteen and the strength of thirty. And I also change my uh, polygons to tris, which is like you know uh, creating triangles instead of uh, quadra quadrangles. So, and uh, if you render it, you have something like this. So, and actually, I very basic scene. I just added a physical sky, switch off the shadows. Um, used a render tag to make it invisible for my camera and then I added a background with a circular gradient. For the water material I created a very basic material, just some blue in the color, uh, transparency with a refraction of 1.33, some reflections and some specular. Um, well, basically that's pretty much it and um, one thing I want to recommend you is um, if you look at my document settings here or my attributes, uh, you can see that I use a higher frame rate. Normally I work with around 25 frames per second, and but I found out that fluids are, are more uh, behave more like you expected them to behave when you use a higher frame rate, so uh, for me 50 uh, 50 frames per second work pretty well and maybe you can you know try something else like 100 or 200 frames per second and you can see that your your particle your particles will behave differently when you use the fluid dynamics so thanks for watching hope it that was useful and uh, was a quick one 
uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.